Hello everyone, this is Irie Babel. Welcome back. I hope you will take the time to press the like and subscribe button if you like what we do on this channel. And today we will be visiting the Caramel Factory in Insigny sur Mer in Normandy, France. Only a short drive outside the city of Cannes and just south of the World War II D-Day landing beaches is the town of Insigny sur Mer. As you follow the road directions and exit the highway, continue on up above the McDonald's to Caramel's D'Insigny. On site is a small museum along with a window view into the production facility. Actual working caramel production line operations are in the mornings and weekdays only. And they also have an on-site boutique. You would not know it, but the company is the heartbeat of Normandy, supplying many varieties of fruit products, including milk, cream, cheese, butter, used in kitchens all over France and the world. But today, we will be taking a look specifically at the sweetest of treats, the caramel production. The production of caramels began in Insigne sur Mer in the 1930s, but the process began in the 1800s, and due to some changes in the company dynamics, it forced the town council and the dairy cooperative to renew the artisanal production of caramels in Insigne sur Mer and to relaunch into a new cooperative named Normandy Caramels in 1994. In the beginning, the new cooperative employed only five people and made 50 kilograms of caramels in a day. Now Caramels D'Insigny ranges in soft caramels and stretches over 70 varieties and 300 tons of caramels per year. Caramels de Insigne produces local products made with local high quality raw materials. Insigne whole milk, Insigne PDO butter, Insigne PDO cream. The caramel's unique flavor is a direct result of these ingredients. It contains no gluten, no gelatin, no palm oil or other artificial flavorings. The first stage involves producing the paste by masterfully combining the ingredients into copper pots, then cooking it to 120 degrees Celsius or 248 degrees Fahrenheit. The final stage involves collecting the liquid caramel and spreading it out on a cold table in order to work, to work the caramel. The caramel is then cut and constantly turned over before finally going through the rolling machine for shaping and wrapping. It seems like a simple process, but if patient and art an articulate skill is not used, well, then it would not be artisanal. You can try some samples as you see the process take shape on your visit to the factory. Unfortunately, my tour was on the weekend, so I was unable to watch the making of the caramel, but the video view was available as you can see here. On display inside the factory or the museum is one of their vehicles, the original vehicles that they use to deliver the caramels throughout the community. At the end of the tour is Les Halls de Insigne, likely to be the favorite of many visitors because you get to take the caramel home. It's a beautiful boutique of every type of caramel imaginable, from popcorn to toffee to ice cream and ice cream toppings. Your taste buds will be delighted, but you can also find some charming souvenirs for your kitchen and home to remind you of your visit to Normandy. The cows here are special, and that makes the milk special. This is because the grass is special. The grass is special because the soil is special. 
rich in nutrients, which give products from this region of France their unique flavor and top quality. If you're in the area and plan a visit to the factory and boutique, parking is available on site and is free. This tour is good on a rainy day and it is a good indoor activity. The tour is handicap accessible and it is suitable for small children and babies in strollers. Tours are conducted in French, however, they do have an English translation available which is provided in leaflet form. So English, English speakers can follow along. The tour guide and the boutique workers do speak limited English. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you enjoy your visit to Normandy, France. And please, as always, have a go at great adventure and keep traveling. Thank you to TC for your assistance with filming. Habiento, see you next time.